Hello and welcome back here on my English YouTube channel about my Lego City project called Brickworld. And in today's update, we are going back to the location we have left in the last update, coming back to the area behind the train tracks where we have worked on the rock wall and on that curved street you can see right now in the center of the screen. We also worked a little bit at the future elementary school here and that's the place we are going to work once again in today's update so stay tuned. We are starting by working at the next part of that street here. It's a one lane street, so one line. So we only have the traffic coming from left to the right. And I have put it here some 16 by 16 plates on some uh, columns here. So we have our street going up here and on the right side, it's just plain street. So it's a little bit easier today, um, especially, but we have some problems here because by working at that uh, curved street in the last time everything here is a little bit stressed so everything is not at the location it has to be so we have to work a little bit to get everything back to that location it has to be you can see it here on that big uh, plates on the top but i think it, it will help when we are going to uh, combine that these two models here one with the train tracks here on the front and the one with the street uh, in the back because it makes everything a little bit more stable when we are going to rework our rock wall into that new model on the back side and then we can start working with a new lamp post here new street light um, as always i'm working with the system from light my bricks just very easy not the cheapest but it's a very good system and a very a very uh, uncomplicated one so we can do a lot of stuff and everything here in my city is um, done with that system so even that new street lamp here and it's on so we have just more light here in our new location coming to the next point you can see i have reworked a big part of that rock wall so now the rock wall is going up at the exact location where our street is. You also got the problem solved with all these uh, stuff that's going or has been banded to the right because there's so much stress on that curved street. And also added the dark bluish tiles here on the street itself. So we have a big update already here and so smooth and it's going so nicely up and down here. So I really, really like that location. Next, what we have to do is working on the side of the street where the outer wall of the elementary school is and we have to uh, yeah, work a little bit more just test out how i'm going to work out that building uh, as often i do not plan a lot of my stuff just doing it by working at it but before i'm adding uh, more of that sidewalk here you also can see i have added these uh, reddish brown tubes here so nobody falls down on the train tracks below and i really really like how that new area here comes out it really looks nice here it gives so much more perspective into the city because we have now a a higher level behind the train track so you have so much more to look at and often it's a problem in most lego cities there are no different um, layers so i really want to do that in my city as you can see here i have added that white line here on the right side i added just a lot of more columns here to get up to the place i have to build at that elementary school building and as you can see it's a very very complex and complicated build out of so many stuff to get up here and yeah now it's time to work at the elementary school i want to um, expand the building until the side of the table i also want to rework the stuff we did last time a little bit so just have a moment and then you can see what i have done i have reworked the stuff here so we have uh, six dots between everything and not only four so it's nicer looking and i also started to work at that area here with that window and i think that's the best solution i really, really like that and a lot of that stuff comes from the pick a brick wall here from nuremberg in germany so that's almost a pick a brick wall building so it's it's quite nice i think now i can 
uh, redo the stuff with the windows to everywhere on that uh, outer wall and we have a speed build for that so we can see how I'm working at it and I really like how that that window style looks and I, I hope it looks exactly so great when there are all everywhere windows and it's important that's going to be an elementary school the building is going to be a little more, more higher in future updates but I really want to have so many windows here because a natural light coming from outside is very important for school rooms or classrooms and so I want to have in that old style building a lot of windows and I think that makes the facade of that building a very nice one. I will see, really, really like the combination of these colors and that's how it looks with the outer facade of the lowest floor done and yeah we have done a lot of stuff today and I really like that start of that building of course there's a lot uh, of it missing and that's also going to be a building with uh, only a part of it so we can look into it like we can look into the um, train station you saw it just a moment in the background and I want to add some more a lot of stories inside that so that um, it's like a cut through to the building and that's something I want to do a lot of in my city at the edges of the table and I really like also the view from down here up and you have to be, have to think about it the building is going to be I think three floors including the um, floor with the um, roof that's something we are going to build in a future update but I really like how it looks and that's a that's a design I can work with. I can expand it to more levels. I can expand it around the corners. And I really like how it looks from here. We're going a little bit um, away from the building. So we can see the the size of the table and the location of my city at the moment. It's about, I think, uh, four or five meters from that point. From yeah, more five meters, maybe six meters from that bridge here on the left to the building we have worked on today and it's something you don't really see so good in the videos it's much more impressive when you're standing there and you can really see how big everything is and yeah just wanted to have a little bit um, impression for you and you can you have seen how little the minifigures have gotten when I got away in one of future updates we are going to work here at the other part of the street it's a little bit complicated because that next curved street part is uh, double curved also I was thinking about how to work here on the edge of the building if I'm going in the 90 degree angle or if I use another angle also have to work here on the signal box that's something I have to do in, a, yeah, in the near future but I think we have now a good idea of what I want to have in that location up here on the rock wall of course there's a big gap inside the rock wall that's something I have to work on there's also going to be a bunker system here in in the in the rock wall under the building so that's something we are going to work at in the future but that's it for today. Thanks for watching once again. Thanks for every comment. So if you have any ideas, write it down in the comments below the video. I really like every idea. A lot of stuff here in the city has been done just because of comments, especially from the German channel. But that's it for today. Thanks for watching and bye.